Hello there beautiful humans and welcome to the video. It's not very often I get to detect in December and it's only a few days before Christmas but it's below uh, it, it's above zero above zero Celsius which means it's above freezing and the water level is way down on the lake. So I am going to see what I can find on the beach further out than I can normally get. Stick with me and I'll get back to you at the first plug. I'm standing on the edge of the beach right now. There's Urkel the Wonder Dog. So there's quite a stretch of frozen sand under the ice, but down there the sand is not frozen, at least not to the depth of a couple of inches. The water level was somewhat higher yesterday. This rock here and this little rock here are actually the same rock, and yesterday you could see it as one rock. Um, we've had a lot of snow melt. It was almost like rain yesterday. And unfortunately, I had chores to do here, so I wasn't able to detect yesterday. So I'm making the best of it. Stick with me. You can see the mess I made looking for this. Not sure what it is. Let's give it a little rinse. Hmm. No wonder it was a weird signal. It's, it's iron in what looks to be a copper sleeve. I'll have to investigate that further. The second repeatable signal is a 1991 copper penny. It made a huge quacking sound. I'm actually hunting on field right now. There's not much here. I can just look at the signals and see if it's iron and leave those alone. Haha, <laughs> my first coin. I'm glad to have that today. What do we have here? It was a 23 signal. I almost didn't dig it because that's traditionally foil. But look, <laughs> it's a clumpy mess. It's a copper chain. No, it can't be copper. It can't be copper if it's if it's ringing 23. Let me give this a rinse. I'll get right back to you. It sure looks like copper. It's very rosy. It was plated. Woohoo! Did I find gold? <laughs> a little bit of gold plating. Oh my goodness, this is exciting. It looks like some kind of some kind of watch watch chain or Oh that's cool. It's quite hefty. I'm gonna to have to get that back into the cottage and give it a good cleanup. This is why I almost didn't dig that chain. Here's a scrap of foil packet that sounded just the same. This was a loud 40 signal. It's a cute little fishing lure. Look at the yellow beads. It almost looks like jewelry. Oh boy, look at this. 93, 92, it's sounding better and better, still a solid 91, time to break out the pin pointer.
There it is. Again, I don't know what it is. Let's give it a rinse. I see copper. Why copper would ring 91, I don't know. Oh, I've lost it. There it is. It's part of a fishing spoon. It's heavy. I'm glad to have that. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Not in that clump. Huh, that was it. A piece of copper ringing up 92 resolutely. Interesting. I wonder what silver sounds like. The mud is really gloopy. It's actually catching on my boots. I'm grateful that my winter boots have rubber bottoms on them, so they're waterproof. And here's our wintry lake. I'll see you again at the wrap up. Oh my goodness, people, this is gold. The clasp says 14 carat. I don't think it'll focus on it, but I'll put a, a still photo in to show. And this looks like rubber. It's weird. It's kind of squashy. And the chains move through it. Of course, the whole thing is falling to pieces, see? And these overlays were on this square thing. Now I'm thinking, obviously, it's plated, but the plating is really thick. So my take is that this is 14 karat gold filled, which is really just a fancy way of saying super thick plating. So I have found my very first gold. Go me! It, it is literally falling to pieces. As I washed it, chunks were falling off. So the base metal is failing. Whatever it is. But here's a piece of the plating. I lost it. And you can see how thick that is compared to what I would consider normal gold plating. So it doesn't say gold filled, but I think it is 14 karat gold filled bracelet, as was. And if you can give me any ideas of how to get the gold away from the base metal, I don't know how whether it would be worth it. But I got my first gold. <laughs> How wonderful. Welcome back, beautiful humans, to the wrap-up of my little hunt on our almost frozen beach up north. I was out there for a little less than an hour, and I didn't really do one complete sweep of our beachfront, but uh, I found some interesting stuff, so here we go. Uh, a little scrap of foil packet, not very interesting, it rang up beautifully. 
this little round foil seal from a bottle or something. Sounded like a coin. This I thought was can slaw, but it isn't. I believe it's part of a pie tin. It's got those crimps. And it's gone that wonderful kind of golden color that aluminum goes when it's been weathered. This thing, which I thought was iron in a copper sleeve. Well, I'm not so sure it's copper, but it's something else. And it looks very much to me like a drill bit. No, a screwdriver bit. It's a, that would be a red Robertson screw bit. It's square. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's a square end. So that's one of our Canadian wonders the Robertson screw which never slips and a red one is the smaller one the green is the larger you might not need to know that but it's always good to have more information than less I found two pieces of fishing tackle this wonderful lure probably had a hook on this end because there's a wee loop over here and it just for the life of me looks like jewelry I thought perhaps this was a Part of a bracelet but hubby assures me that it is indeed a fishing lure pretty and this very hefty one which is hammered copper i love that it's nice and weighty and as soon as i took it out of the water and sand it started to oxidize i found one coin only one And it is a 1991 copper penny. You might just have to take my word for it there. I wonder if I can get the date to show. 1991. And it's the second portrait of the Queen. And then there's my gold. My 14 karat gold filled bracelet, watch fob, concho, not concho, but um, could be a bolo tie, I doubt it, more likely it's a bracelet. So yes, if I could figure out a way to get the gold off the rest, I might have <laughs> a little bit of gold. There we have it. I was so excited to see the 14K on the hook. But as I said, it is plated, heavily plated, so I believe it's gold filled, which I guess is gold filled with something else. So there you go, my friends. Hopefully it will be mild enough that when we get back up there, I can uh, take another swing and do a few more laps on my, on my beachfront before it freezes up for real. So until I see you again, here's Auntie waving goodbye. Toodaloo!